I think it's important for us to share our darknesses with each other. I feel like I feel like there's a chance that we're creating like a really fake reality by pretending by putting on certain faces and in the putting on of these faces we still may portray certain things that we struggle with and there still may be certain revealing but by not sharing our true hearts with each other and creating this kind of culture where and I feel like and a lot of it with being politically correct or political correctness living in this world of you can only say things this way you know, amidst all the etiquette and the political correctness and the the boundaries we set in what's okay to say and what's okay to think and what's okay to portray. There are certain things that whether you portray them or not are still in your mind, are still in your heart, and as long as they still exist, are still part of the equation of our lives, of our countries, of our world. And we're lying to each other. And that's, I mean, not, that's not what I want. Like the desire that I have in my heart is to share my heart, but because of the boundaries that exist or the norms or whatever, the only part of myself that I can share is my light and, you know, the certain aspect of me that's readily, you know, seated, seated and gardened in this, you know, American culture. But the other aspects of me are hard to facilitate growth with in this culture even as i mean and maybe i'm doing more than i think i am like but even as independently like like independent thinker to some degree or whatever that i am and maybe i'm doing better than i think i am with being open on facebook posts being open on youtube stuff being maybe being open in person to some degree but it just makes it hard and it makes it so that I'm lying to you like because if you see a person if you see me dancing at the OB or dancing at whatever bar it's like oh my gosh that guy is just always positive that guy always looks happy that guy must not have I've never seen him angry he must never be maybe you think I'm never sad like there's things that people have said or that think about me that and I'm me so I know what goes on in my mind I know and even be me there's things of me that I'm not aware of but even what the part that I am aware of it just doesn't seem right for people to be thinking so highly of me because I have certain light qualities and then to hide or not hide but like to not be able to show them the full picture Full picture is full reality. But we all put on this face. And maybe there's something to a face, but your heart has to be, like, your face should be a structured version of your heart. Or, like, it should be in some sort of legitimate connection to your heart. Not, not like disconnected like it should be a more focused like okay this is how I have to deliver my heart in public like it's still my heart but it's you know sort like you know like guided or you know something like that but not to have a fake face and like you know there's just so many 
You know, like I think of a party bus thing that I went to on New Year's Eve. And uh, one of the people, or kind of the main person that held it, um, had a picture on Facebook that I saw. And it was like, my squad goes hard or something like that. And it was, and, and then there's, you know, the picture. Someone that would see that could think, oh my gosh, like, because there's different people in the picture. There's one person, there was her, like, on the, like stripping pole or whatever like they would see them be like oh my gosh like i just stayed home and was with my dog and i wish i could do more fun things and like and like you know whatever they wouldn't know because there's no way in that picture you'd be able to tell unless you're on some like psycho ninja i don't even know how like type stuff or like some spiritual type like or you know or you're what's that what's that thing that that girl in uh sabrina the teenage witch has like, unless you got the, uh, crap, I don't, but where, where you can, like, see things from just looking at them, you know, like, the deeper reality or predict the future or whatever. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but anyway, you're probably not going to know what, you, but what happened is in the latter half of that party bus, like, dudes wanted to go home. People were fighting, like, there was one girl that was, like, married, that people, like, knew was married and she was, like, kissing on a guy. That threw me off. Like, that, I wasn't happy after that. Like, I, like, talked to the girl that, like, also was, like, mm, and she was, like, what I've learned in life is just to, like, worry about you and don't let it ruin your time. And I was still upset. And then she went over and slapped the guy. So I could have started that. And then, like, and then there's just all this fighting, like, even unrelated to that because people were just drunk besides me. And, like, dudes were just, like, every, like, we just, we stopped it early. Like, we sang the bus driver or whatever, happy happy birthday, but we, like, got back to Bucks at, like, 11.30, and people just got off. It would, like, no, like, <laughs> you know, but, like, someone who, who would see that picture, they'd just be like, great, like, they could, they could be sad, and they could be, like, whatever, and this is what we do, like, not, I mean, and it's not even that to show a picture like that is wrong per se, because maybe the thing is like, okay, it was a bad night or it was a certain thing, but like, you know what? These are still my people and you know, whatever, and they're my squad. They're, you know, so it doesn't it's not that the posting of the picture is per se bad, but it only shows you half of the story. And that is what we do to each other with businesses, with the jobs that we all work in, like just like family, like whatever. And then what happens is that we all think we're alone, but we're not. Like so many of us have similar problems, similar pursuits, similar whatever. And if we only share the pretty sides of ourselves, we don't, we can't connect. And there's such strength that can happen with a whole lot of people coming together. Like that's part of what I think part of the Tower of Babel story in the Bible connects to is that like, when people were working together towards, like, this tower that they were trying to build, like, God was like, okay, I need to separate these people, like, divide their language, and so that they don't, like, you know, what, I don't, I don't know what it says, it's been a while since I've, like, like, studied, studied the Bible, but, like, so that they don't build a ladder to heaven or the tower to heaven or something, and with stuff like the Bible or the Quran, it's a very, the Bible and the Quran, um, or maybe you want to say more one or is there one more that's more than the other um but one or the other or both of them i guess i would i guess i would maybe say the bible um yeah for sure i want to say i want to say the bible and probably the quran too but i think i'm going to focus on the bible um it doesn't do the whole like just show the light side that's that's one thing that that is interesting about the bible and i think the quran too but like it doesn't just say, here are all these beautiful things that God said. Like, for people that really have a problem with God and want to find things to use against Christians, or if you want to find things, even in the Quran, to use against Muslims, like, they're there. They don't hide that stuff. They share the whole, it's like, not that it shares everything, everything per se, because maybe there's certain things we don't need to know, or we shouldn't know, or that we can't know, or whatever. But it doesn't just say, God loves you, and this is this. Like, we make it that, because that's all we want it to be. But there's all this stuff. Like, there's a chapter in the Old Testament that if anybody was atheist, or anybody was wanting to have, or Satanist, or wanted to have beef with God, and wanted something to use against people, there is a chapter where God's like, 
I'm going to do, if you do this, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this is what's going to happen. And that chapter is hardcore. And it's there. It's not omitted. It's not taken out. And that gives you a more full picture of what, of who God is, of what Christianity is, of what, you know, there's the light, there's things that God does that touch, that touch me sometimes, at least once that I can think of that happen in the Bible. There's things that are beautiful in the Quran, but there's things that are very difficult in both the Bible and the Quran. Like, but they don't just show the light parts and that gives you a better view or more full picture. And I think it's problematic that like, some of the, like, I have posts in the last, like, two years that are difficult posts because sometimes they're on, they, like, it's over, there's, it's over the topic of rape or there's something in relation to rape on it, so it becomes difficult for people. And one of those such posts was yesterday because it was one of those, I've been doing these, like, kind of me-to-me -me posts where I just think, if I think something and I think it's worth sharing, I share it. And I held back from sharing the one I did yesterday for a day. Normally I post them like right away so I don't forget it. But I held off for a day because I was like, actually, you know, maybe that's not something I want to share. But yesterday it just, I just felt it. I just wanted to post it. And there are people that connected with it. There are people that did not connect with it. One girl posted a question and then I couldn't even reply because she like blocked and like you know, all that type stuff. Then someone else, um, I think, deleted me as a friend and had a like kind of one of those sassy like pictures or comments, whatever. And, but there are people that connected with it or like, oh man, like, you know, one person was like, um, you can't, I don't know, something about like, it's okay to acknowledge or air your own darkness and then give like a thumbs up and a heart. Um, another girl like messaged me and was like, oh, you're woke. You're woke, aren't you? Like, it's sad that people are like getting upset about this or something. And then, um, you know, there's another girl that even though she was like, you of all people had this thought and but she was like, but then I like responded to that. And then she like was loving all these different responses to different people that I was posting. And she like was loving all of them. Um, and then who else? And then there is a friend yet yeah, that um, that really was just amazing. Um, and I was actually upset with this friend. Um, but we had planned to meet up yesterday regardless, um, before all of this stuff with the post yesterday, but she was super understanding and like invited me to come see a movie with her. And like, I asked, like, I told her I was available to like run lines or whatever, like she wanted to do if she still wanted to do it. <laughs> and she was like, I trust you. I love you. And like, and she came to, to here and we like hung out and talked and stuff and like and she opened up about stuff we had like long we had talked about spirituality because i mean that i like that's something that's gonna happen sometimes with me um talked about stuff on in the realms of what i posted etc cetera, etc cetera. but like it's it's and it's also like it shows you who it it shows you who you're truly um like where your strong bonds are and your weak bonds are. Because the person that blocked me and the person that deleted me, the person that deleted me already, I don't think, thinks well of me from previous stuff, from maybe, a, especially from a previous post. Um, I think on homosexuality um, in like summer of 2017, I think. Um, that's one, I think that's like the main thing I can think of of why there would be issue there. Um, there's... But then the girl that blocked me was actually special to me. Like, there's a lot of light and a lot of love in different aspects that I've tried to give her um, because she's just someone that, because of her character, just, like, who she is kind of is special to me um, in my heart. But in reality, there's certain things that have happened um, in the past that she probably hasn't talked to me directly about, even though in certain cases she can be an upfront person. But I think there's certain things that she's either wondered or thought or something that have already made and that I've already like at least once I think like kind of asked about or like certain situations made me feel like that so there are already seeds of disconnect there so like it, it kind of by being really real it also shows you who really wants to be there and who really doesn't and it's and shows you true bonds true reality of the connections you have so 
I just think it's important. Like the culture that we cr we're creating where it's like you have to know exactly how to say things the right way and if you don't you're stupid. Like it's and also there's someone I became friends with on Facebook who is a supporter of Trump. And it's interesting because the way that she reacted to the post um yesterday that I was talking about, um, the way, the certain statuses that I've seen from her since becoming her Facebook friend, she's a lot like all the people that hate Trump in just in aspects of her life or thoughts or whatever. There are people that are Trump supporters that are like, that, I mean, are not gonna be similar in certain ways and are gonna have difficult aspects of them. But we also, on like, on whatever side, have difficult aspects of ourselves um it's i mean we're all human like there's people that in these days that if they would have lived in the days of slavery would have been slave owners but they but they just they're people that would if you're someone that goes along with the crowd easily it's kind of what time period and what culture you were born in if you're someone that really has a will about you then to some degree it's part of it is just who you are because Alexander Hamilton, according to Hamilton the Musical, apparently didn't support slavery back then. So, like, that's something that's on his heart, for whatever reason, if I understand that correctly. But there are people, probably in this day, that are like, this and this and this, and they and they could be white, or they could be black. or Well, I guess, in this case, in this conversation, it'd be white people that we're talking about, I guess. Um, but they could be like, oh, slavery is awesome, or horrible. <laughs> slavery is horrible, and this could be... Um, the, I can't believe we did this as ancestors and da -da 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 and da -da -da and whatever. But if those same people were born in previous centuries, they probably would have been slave owners because they just followed the culture. And like, I just like, it's just important. All these facades that we build of like, this is not okay to say, this is okay to say, like, how could you think this? Oh, you don't know how to talk like this? Then you're dumb. Like... People are religious about their politics, about their certain things. People are, polit are religious about, or like really devoted to like stuff in sports even. Like we just need to breathe more. Like like let's, like we need to listen to each other because everyone has their own lens that they look through. Like everyone is a piece of the truth. Like, and that's one thing that the Baha'i faith has that and how they go about their discussions. Not that I've per se witnessed it, but when I read the like Baha'i faith pamphlet at the beginning of last year, that's one thing is like everyone's opinion or whatever is valued. And like everyone's lens gives us a piece of the truth. But if people can't articulate or can't um, express like express the whole of themselves, we can't see their whole truth. We can't witness their whole truth. I just feel like we're living in a fake and false reality. And when you're living in a fake and false reality, you can't have truth. You're blocked off from truth. You're just there to live in your fake and false reality. As for me, I want truth. <laughs>